Well, it looks like my Equinox is flooded. It looks like I can see some water on the inside. I'll show a picture of it up there. Man, I can't believe it. I got two Equinoxes in the shop. I will have this weekend. We had both of my primer and my backup in the shop. Ah! Well, I got my Excalibur today, and I am borrowing uh, an Equinox from a friend. I'll be using it during the end of the week, hopefully. But uh, got to do what we got to do to keep getting up. We're going to try to hit a little water today. Got my um, waders on here, so we're going to try to get in the water just a little bit. Now, I have found some stuff here before, but we've kind of worn it out, so I might not have a lot to show today. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. All right, we got a snake in the water right here. He just went under right there. Now I don't know where he's at, which I don't like. He's in here, though. Where? I don't know now. Hopefully he's not coming this way. Got my eyes on the water right here to make sure. But he was swimming straight across here. I'm thinking he's coming up in here in some pilots right here. I'm thinking he'll be coming out of here anytime. Let's see if we catch him in here. All right, stay tuned. I'll keep my eyes out for him. All right, I got to hit down here in the water here. And I don't know where it is, but it's certainly a lot different than uh, what I'm used to being able to see a number on it. Just hearing the sound. Got to go by sound alone today. All right, and we're out here in uh, about a foot of water, I guess. Two foot. And I think we got it. All right, let's take it up here on shore. See if we can hear it up here now. Yep, there it is right there. It looks like a piece of trash to me. But it is a... Yeah, a piece of trash. It's actually lead, though. That is lead. Interesting. Alright, we're going to keep hunting this area. I like that. Alright, I just pulled a, a plug out of here. It looks like I see something. In here. Oh, I thought it was going to be a... thought that was going to be a uh, uh, button for sure. But it's definitely old. Probably something to a lock or something. Kind of cool, though. All right, let's bag it and keep moving. All right, we got another scoop on the ground here. Let's see what we got here. All right, this was sounded pretty good, but let's see. We got the... It's right here, whatever it is. It's round. Could be a button. All right, I'm not sure what that is. It could be an old Peter button, maybe. I see a C mark on it back there. See that C mark? I will check that out in the closeout, but I'm not sure what that is right now. All right, I don't have my bass with me today, and it's kind of hard to do this in this basket sometime, but I can see something down in here in the basket that looks brass. It's brassy looking, but I don't think it's old. That's like a turn knob or something. Could be old, don't know. But it's nice when I get them out here, because I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm up to pretty deep here. So uh, it's nice that I have to take it to shore every time. All right, we're going to keep looking in here. All right, quick update. We haven't found anything yet. It's pouring down rain right now. We're in a really good area, really old area. I found large scent, half dimes, all kind of good stuff here. A spectacle buckle right here where I'm standing. So good stuff in here. We just had not hit the honey hole yet. So stick with me. We're going to stay in the rain, get your raincoat on, and we're going to try it out a little more. We ain't giving up yet. Here we go. I am really impressed with this scalp right here doing this hunt. Check this little target out here. A furniture attack, but that sucker is little. Look at that. It's definitely an old furniture attack right there. That's pretty cool. All right, this is what else we can find. All right, I'm still out here digging in the water and finally got a button. But check it out. It's got a design on it. I think it's some kind of bird. No, it's an eagle. That's an eagle on it, I think. A little tiny button though, but I think it's an eagle on it. I like it. The best find of the day so far. All right, here we go. All right, need some help with this one. Check this thing out. It looks like a little buckle. That is a miniature, but I've never seen one that small before. Anybody help me identify that? Maybe went to a someone to hat or something. Maybe I don't know. Looks pretty cool though. I like it. All right, let's check this area. All right, we're still in here digging shallow water. We Nothing's deep at all in here, so it's lucky enough I'm able to just take this out, come down here, cut the pinpoint on, do it sideways on the side, like this, until I get a hit. And here it is right here. Oh, it's just clay down here, so everything's sitting right on top of the clay. And it's easy just to scoop it up. And then try to find it. Most of the time, this latest stuff I've been getting, 
something really small. There it is right there. And it looks like a rivet for like a horse tack or a horse rivet right there. I just found another one that was just like it. It's pretty cool though. That's old stuff right there. Awesome. Alright, we're still digging a few targets here, so we're gonna keep getting up. Alright, we're still digging some stuff out of here. I'm about man eh, maybe a foot deep right now, but I think this is a button. I don't see a tab on it, but it's definitely like a two-piece button because it's got a back on it too. So we'll have to look at home, see if we can read any kind of any kind of uh, writing on the back. I'm not sure if we can or not, but run across some unique things today. Anyway, the Excalibur's working good. I like it. I'm learning how to use it again, and I like it. I can't. I can't wait to use it underwater, finding those gold rings. Stay tuned. Well, we got us another unknown here. It looks like it's kind of some kind of decorative piece of uh, cop brass or copper there. You can see a little point on the end up there. I'm not sure where it would go to. I was thinking a key at first when I saw it, but I'm not sure. Y'all got any uh, suggestions? Put it down in the comments down below. All right, as you can see, the rain has slowed up. It's still a little bit windy, though, and it got some white caps coming in. I just dug a couple buttons. I don't think I'm showing them on the video because my camera's all clogged up here on the screen. So I'll show them in the cleanup. So stay tuned. We'll look at everything when we get finished. But we're going to still see if we can find something else good here right now. All right, here we go. Well, it's pouring down rain again, but we ain't giving up. We're going to hit it for just a little bit longer, see if we can't find a few more things here. It's uh, definitely a good area, and I hate to leave without finding something really, really good. But we might have to. All right, stay tuned. We'll keep looking here for a little bit longer. The rain is coming down. Oh, we got a target, another target here in somewhat shallow water. Shin deep where we can actually get on and get it. Not real crazy about the signal, but I ain't getting a lot lately, so we got to dig it. All right, now we got to find it first. Most things have been pretty close to the top where I can get to it. I think I got it right here. I think we might have it. I think it's in here. I keep slowly trying to pinpoint it down using my using the pinpoint and it. Oh man, it's gonna be another one of them round balls, I think. Yep, look at that. Man, this thing is really doing good picking up small targets, but I was hoping it was gonna give me something good that time too. Oh well, let's keep looking. I wouldn't call that a wrap. I think we got a storm coming up here. It looks pretty rough out there. This is a little dark over there. And it's pouring down rain, so the wind's picked up, so we better get out of here. All right, stay tuned. We'll get home, clean everything up, especially that double-headed eagle button. I think I can see two heads on All right, stay tuned. We're going to check it out right now. Well, we got a little bit wet out there today. Rain came through several times while we're trying to detect. We had in the water waders, though. Rain cooked. Didn't really matter a whole lot. We're already wet, so... But I want to give you a quick update on the Equinox. Y'all saw it mess up on the other day. It started off just having some scratchy sounds. Cut it off, tried to cut it back on, and it wouldn't cut on. It had the CD. It actually cut on for a little while, which means coil disconnected. But I tried three coils and none of them worked. And uh, so I knew it wasn't a coil. So I kept messing with it. It finally got to come on, uh, was it yesterday? And it didn't, then it just went out. When I cut off, tried to cut back on, it still wouldn't cut on again. I had a lot of trouble. Today I tried it again. And when I went out there, uh, it wouldn't cut on again. But and then it then it, uh, when I tried to cut it on, all of a sudden it cut on, and then it wouldn't cut off. It was doing crazy stuff, going on and off. Never worked. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Check this out. Right now, it's on, but it won't cut off. I push it, cut off. It won't move. I can't even adjust it at all. Nothing works on it. It's sitting there on. It's, it makes noise once in a while. Nothing operates on it at all. You, you can't do anything with it. It is dead in the water. Or well, dead on dry land right now. It is not working at all. No buttons work at all. You know, when I first looked at it, I thought these lines right here were uh, with a screen. We had some air behind it. But if you actually get the screen off here, here it goes, the protective screen here. Let's see if we can't get it going here. Oh man, having a hard time getting it. Hold tight. We'll get it though eventually. Here it goes. And watch this. When I pull it off, it's still there. I thought it was that behind me. What it is, 
That is where water got behind that screen. Salt water, probably. That's probably salt crystals sitting here behind here. Before you can kind of see, well, oh, that's probably the LCD screen, but water, I think, has gotten in, into it and it's completely messed the whole thing up. Now, it won't do anything there. So it will be going back tomorrow. I got to get a return material authorization and get it back in the mail. But now, two machines down. Oh, man. That's the one thing I didn't want to happen. Have a the main machine and the backup machine go out and that's happening on me so we'll have to borrow the detector for a little while for about a week maybe from somebody else until we can get going i got my uh excalibur and it works i use it today y'all saw it working today and it, it does do a good job find some little tiny targets i'm using i'm learning to use a little bit i hadn't used it a lot since last uh fall when we we're getting all those gold rings on the bottom using the excalibur that thing was great doing that and we'll be using it again doing that but right now um i gotta have one just in case so I'll get a hold of my lead tomorrow and see if we can't get it returned. And hopefully the other one will come back before too long. Anyway, we've got out there today. We did find a few things. I'm going to need some help identifying a couple things. Let's check it out. All right, we got the normal stuff. Gray matter. I did get this one piece of lead. I'm not sure what it is. A square hole in the back. And it's actually got some octagon shape on it right there. So I'm not sure what that is. Almost looks like a hub with a... Uh, I don't know. I was thinking of like a grease fitting, but I'm not sure about that. Um, did find some lead. It's definitely a bunch of little tiny, and that's probably old colonial lead right there. Just pieces of uh, where they were making stuff and all. Some brass items. And this piece of lead was interesting right there. Not sure it's got a hole. Maybe they're using that for a sinker. That's the only thing I can think of. It's right there with people fishing a hole. But... Anyway, some lead here. And I think what this is right here is a barrel tap, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think the pods are tapped. It went on one side, goes into the barrel. So, for most of like water and wine or whatever, I think. But I think that's a real old barrel tap right there. Not sure. Got some other pieces of uh, brass. Not sure what they are either. You can see that's kind of there. Don't know what that is. Actually, got a. Looks like it might screw on you. It does have some threads in it. I'm not sure how old that is. Some more brass dump on each end there. Uh, I think this is pewter here. You see the seam on right there. I'm pretty sure that's like a maybe a pewter button, maybe it's just kind of deteriorated a little bit. Uh, another piece of pewter, I believe. A uh, piece of brass. You can see the lines on it. That came off of some kind of vessel or something. Then you got some screw. I think that maybe came off of an oil lamp or something, maybe. I thought that was a key at first. Not sure. Got any ideas on that? Same thing on that right there. Not sure what that is right there. Like, like a keeper or something. Little small furniture tack, I know what that is. Um, let's see, we've got a bunch of, a bunch of little lead shot in here. Don't know how old it is. It is white, so it's old, but I don't know how old that is. A uh, couple really cool things here. Um, this right here is the coolest thing. This is an eagle, and I'm gonna put a picture up on it. It's a double-headed eagle. It's really small, but, uh, and I'm not sure what that is. Anybody have any idea what that is, let me know. Um, I know I looked up a couple things like the, uh, I think the Masons have a little thing that uses double-headed eagle and uh, But the, this particular design I could not find anywhere on the internet. So anybody got any ideas on that? Let me know uh, Another couple little buttons here button there little button there a Little turn thing. There. I'm not sure what that is a little tiny buckle. Look at that. It's a little tiny But look at next to my finger a small anybody know what that goes to let me know Two uh, brass um, leather tacks right here. You can see them right there. You should go inside like a rivet to hold the leather together. Pretty cool. But uh, we're a little limited because of the weather today. Got blowing pretty hard too. Got a little storm come through. But uh, we'll be definitely getting out there soon. Again, real quick, maybe tomorrow. So uh, we've got some new cool stuff coming up in the near future. Some, some neat adventures coming up. So stay tuned for them. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video, click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. Alright, thanks for coming along on this adventure.